Shalom, Shalom, call Hala, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High. Your name is Only Begotten Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon Camp down here in Tampa, Florida. And I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who taught us his truth. And the truth is sincerity, peace, and salutations to the whole full legs scattered abroad. What you see on the, see on the screen is one of dozens of CVID camps in Wuhan, okay? One of dozens of these camps in Wuhan, and this is a uh, detention center, okay? Uh, re re relocation camp, a quarantine camp, a concentration center, whatever you wanna call it. It's all the same, okay? And this is in China, but it's coming to America, okay? This is gonna be all over the world. Okay, where they're going to be locking you up, taking you out of your houses. Prepare for this, man. Okay, over here in America, we, we got something called FEMA. There's over 800. And I was, you know, for reports from probably over eight years ago. There's over 800 detention camps already in America. So now it's probably like, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if it's 2,000, you know, by now. You know, hey, you're every Walmart. You know, your local, you know, Walmarts and Publixes and Sweet Bays are going to be turned into them, you know, detention centers. OK, and all this is Bible prophecy. This is biblical. OK, so this is Revelation chapter three, verse. Let's go to Revelation, Revelation chapter three, verse 10. It says, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, which means just the, what to, to, to have to have to have suffer for the Lord. Lord said that we that we have to suffer for him or suffer with him, okay. And then when he gets his glory, we shall get um, our our glory as well. So the true prophets, the true service of the Lord, are, are really suffering right now. This is because thou hast kept the word of my patience. I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. The hour of temptation is when they're going to actually try to you know come down with this wrath, and and they're going to try to cause for everybody to be implanted, okay. They want everybody to be tagged, and that's going to be a period of time where, you know, you're going to have to make a choice, either get tagged or get, you know, beheaded, you know, because you're, you're going to either be a part of this system or not be a part of the system. If you don't have that tag, you won't be able to be, able to be a part of the system. It says, um, it says, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which I come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold. I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast. Let no man take thy crown. Okay, let no man take thy crown. Why? Because they're about to come down with this wrath. And a part of that wrath is what the Lord warned us about. Okay. It says, Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, look, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. That ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. You see? So, where is this, this whole rapture talk coming from? Hey, no, the true servants, the true ones that, 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 that are looking to be delivered, are going to have to be faithful unto death to receive a crown of life. You said that they, they, should, that they shall cast some of us into prison, okay? Which is likened into these camps, man. Okay, these centers. You may find yourself, you know, put, you know, put in one of these five by five cells, you know, and praying to the Lord to break you out. <laughs> it says here that he that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. So we got to overcome this, man. We have to go through this. This is the, a, the, a this is a part of the, uh, the, the uh, faith, a part of the journey. Okay, to ha we have we have to go through hell to get to keep, get get to get to heaven, man. We gonna have to go through hell to get to heaven, and that's why the Lord has been you know fashioning us and you know um, molding us for ultimately that that time of you know 
the ultimate trying because everybody is going to be tried. Acts 14 verse 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. You got to you. We are exhorting you to continue in the faith. First of all, we, 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 we trying to get you to come into the faith. OK, Who, whoever the, the elect is, you know, come into the faith. And we are exhorting you to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the most high. Yahweh Bashim Shai. So there's not going to be no walk, no, no, no cakewalk, man. Through much tribulation shall we enter into the, 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 the uh, kingdom of heaven. Okay. Through much tribulation. Okay. Through much tribulation. That means much hell, much suffering. Okay. Much judgment. Let me, uh, let me go. Um, let me go back. I want to grab this in a blue letter. This is worth a tribulation in a blue letter. We'll grab it in the blue letter. The word for tribulation. Acts chapter 14. Acts 14. Here we go. Acts chapter 14, verse 22. It says, here we go. Tribulation. Strong's G, 2347. Thelipsis. 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 It says a pressing, a pressing together pressure. They're about to come down with pressure. They about, they, they, they about to, like how Jake said in the world, or oh, 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 I'll step on you. Hey, these devils, it, it, it has plans to step on us. Okay, they, they finna come down with that wrath. It says, um, oppression, affliction, tribulation, distress, straits. Okay, tribulation, distress, straits, persecution, trouble, anguish, burdened, <laughs> afflicted. Okay. It says pressure, literally or figuratively, affliction, anguished, burden, persecution, tribulation, troubled. So that's the times we're coming into, man. Okay, and the Lord is, ha, ha, has warned us of this. He said, beware. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So there ain't going to be no walking apart, man. Let me grab that. Um... This is second as second Ezra chapter seven, verse six. It says there is also another thing: a city is built and set up upon a broad set up upon a broad field, and full of all good things. It's just like into the kingdom of heaven. The entrance thereof is narrow, and it is set in a dangerous place to fall, and like as if there were fire on the right hand and on the left a deep water. So the entrance. To get into the kingdom of heaven is very narrow. That's why you, 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 you Christian churches say, "Come as you are." That's a, a that 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 day. That's a broad path. That's not a narrow path. The narrow path takes a. Hey, it takes change. It takes you know uh, discipline. It takes um growth. Okay. It takes repentance. It takes you know considering. You know it take it's, it's going to take a lot. Okay. It says, and one. And one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water. So there's only one path. OK, so small that there could be there could but one man go through there at once. So what's this thing about everybody just going to go into heaven all together? Nah, man, only one man can go there at once. So so that's like it to the, the kingdom to get to the kingdom of heaven. So the scripture says you must work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You must work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You got people that think that they can just go to church on Sundays and, you know, uh, 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 say they believe in, 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 in the Lord or Jesus, which is not even his real name, and they're going to be saved. Nah, you must do uh, fear and trembling. Work out your own salvation with fear. You know, work out, work out your own salvation. It says, um, 
and only the and only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could one man go through there at once. If the city were now given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive his this inheritance? You see, so we have to pass through this danger, man. Okay, we have to go through Jacob's trouble. We have to we have to see all hell break loose. We're gonna have to, you know, deal with these certain things, man. Okay, and if we have to go through that danger. It says, and I said it it it, it is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, Even so also is Israel's portion. So this is our portion, brothers and sisters. We're gonna have to go through hell. We're gonna have to go through hell to get to heaven, man. Okay, and they're gonna come down with great wrath, try to lock Jacob up, try to put Jake in. You know, you know, um, these, 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 you know, the uh, detention centers and these camps. Okay. Let me go here. I just, I was just here earlier, so let's let's go back. It says, um, this is Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, verse. 68 for behold the burning wrath of the great multitude is kindled over you they shall take away certain of you and feed you being and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols and where and, and, and where they where, where are they going to take you away to huh where are they going to take you away to oh man oh, i lost it I'm sitting here somewhere i lost it it's gone that's unfortunate yeah, yeah, that just came up out of nowhere anyways, but it's all right. That's it. Yeah, yeah, that's all right. We'll just, you know, keep going to scriptures. But you, you get the picture. That, that, that's what they're going to take you. That's where they're going to take you away to, man. These camps. They want to take you away to these camps. It says um, that they and they that consent unto them should be had in derision and a reproach and trotted on the foot. If you consent unto going to one of these camps or, or you find yourself in a situation like how FEMA comes in, in, in a time of a disaster or something. If you go down to FEMA for help, hey man, you're gonna be in had in derision and reproach and tried on the foot, man, catching hell. It says, um, there shall be in every place in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, and they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. They're gonna be spoiling and destroying, okay, sparing none. For they for they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. So, hey, man, you're going to be casted out of your house. Okay, let me grab that too, man. Here we go. Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 39. Even so, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. O oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to thy battle. And in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. So even in those evils and those bad times, be as pilgrims upon earth. We're going to be as pilgrims, brothers. Okay? Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. These plagues is coming. And they're not going to slack. They're not going to stop for a second. Age. When all hell does start breaking loose and really start going down, it's going to start going down. It's going to be like a domino effect, a ripple effect. You're going to see just death and destruction after death and destruction after death and destruction. Okay, you're going to see a lot of, you know, change happen very, very fast. Okay, and with that, a lot of people are not going to make it out, man. A lot of people are not going to be able to, to, to endure into the end and be saved. Okay, and that's why Yahweh Bashim Shai is so seriously, is serious to who be reverenced. Okay, worthy to be praised. And if you don't praise him, if you, if, if you, if you don't want to serve the Lord, then ultimately you're going to be destroyed, man. All right. I, there's a couple of scriptures, probably, you know, there's a couple of scriptures I probably could, could, could have grabbed. I had a couple on mine, but I, I can't think of them now. But, I, you know, I think the point was already made, you know, ain't no reason to beat a dead horse. All hell is about to break loose and they about to start, you know, grabbing, a hey, grabbing Jacob. That, oh, that, 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 that's right. Let me grab that. Oh, no, 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 no. Lay hold. Cause that, cause, cause that, cause, because that, that's what's coming, you know. This is what's coming. They, 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 about to, they, about to, they about to show out. Uh, no, let me 
you got. Let me see. So, like, you bear me one second. I'm thinking of a scripture. Just gonna tip my. See, well, 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 let's grab this. Particular scripture, bear with me one second. And, 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 and you brothers already probably already know what I'm talking about. For some reason I can't, it's just, I can't quite get it right. Um, take hold or lay hands. Here we go, take hold. I believe it's take hold. That's what I had from the beginning. Think of it right now, man. That's, that's that's Satan. They shall lay hold, lay 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 hands on some certain of you. Satan, man. Here we go. It's Luke chapter twenty-one, verse um. Verse Luke chapter twenty one verse. Let, 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 let's go. Let's go to verse seven. It says, and they asked him, saying, Master, but when shall these things be, and what sign will there be when these things come to pass? And he said, Take heed that ye be not deceived, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, or the, or, or the Anointed, as they say, Christ. Which you know, it says, and the time draweth near. Go ye not after them, but when they ye shall hear of wars and commotions, be not terrified, for these things must come to pass. But the end is not by and by. And we're hearing about Russia and Ukraine and all this World War Three talk. It says, Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places. You got seven, seven, seven point. Two and three magnitude earthquakes hitting in diverse places. It says in famines, you know, food shortages, and I um and pestilences, diseases, man. Okay, a lot of diseases and you know, um, viruses going up, you know, and, and they putting out and fearful sights and great signs shall there be in heaven. These are all how we know the Lord is, is coming soon. Verse twelve. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you. And persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. So some of us are going to be brought, you know, put in, into these prisons and brought before kings and rulers before for, for Yahweh Bashem Yahweh's name's sake, man. Okay. And when that happens, it says, and if it shall turn to you for a testimony, settle it therefore in your heart and your mind not to meditate before what you shall answer. Don't think about what you're going to say, what you're going to do. Oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Nah, hey, 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 the Lord is in control, man. He says, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom which your adversary shall not be able to gain, say, nor resist. And we already see that now. We go out to camp and people try to come up against us, you know, and, 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 and they can't, you know. Um, gain, say, nor resist us uh, according to these scriptures, man. Okay, but how much more 
when they actually come to persecute us. It says, And ye shall be betrayed both by parents and brethren and kinfolks and friends. Some of you shall they cause to be put to death. You must have to become martyrs for, for, for this truth. Okay, You're, everybody that 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 that, that 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 you think you know, you know, is cool and fine and dandy, or people that you knew your whole life is gonna be the ones turning turning on you. It says, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but there shall not an hair on your head perish, and your patience possess ye your souls. You see, so amen. Our patience and our suffering possess ye our souls. We and we gonna definitely have to suffer. We suffering right now, but the suffering is going to increase. But after that, we are gonna be in kingdom of heaven. You know, and, and glory and peace forever. Let me grab one more, man. Oh, uh, cause you know this these type of lessons are always, you know, kinda you know, I know people be, you know, don't want to be hearing that <laughs> all hell is about to break loose all the time. But hey, it is a, it definitely is about to break loose. And as a prophet, we have to go out and warn you of this. But in the midst of that, it says Revelation chapter twenty one, verse um, two it says and I saw in, I saw the holy city New Jerusalem coming down from the most high out of heaven prepared as a bribe adorned for a husband this is talking about the elect of Israel coming back down out of those chariots you know with a new body with, with uh, it's like new, new uh, bodies it says and I heard a great voice out of heaven saying behold the tabernacle of the most high Yahweh Shem Shai is with men and he would dwell with them and they shall be his people and the most high shall be with them and be their power and Yahweh Shem Shai it's lucky and Yahweh Shem Shai shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. But he sat upon the throne and said, and said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these things, these words are true and faithful. So the Lord said, It's going to be all things going to be made new. There's going to be no more sorrow, neither crying, no more death for the children of Israel, man. Okay, so we 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 have to go through through, through this rough patch now. You know, and Lord, when we endure to the end and make it through it, you know, and after that, we're going to have, you know, eternal glory with, with, our, with our Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, and, and, and King David for eternity, man. Whatever I'm going to say, Shalom, Kwame, Shirala, Abad, Babal.